Yeah, definitely. I uh, I really wanted to show that I'm, I'm versatile. That was the biggest thing. Um, I did some routes out of out of the slot, um, a couple things out the backfield, but I just wanted to show them I'm comfortable with with catching the ball and um, I don't have a problem with it. And then uh, as, as far as the running back drills too, uh, with KB, you know, I really wanted to show that I could pass block and, and put a little aggression out there. So, how do you think you did? Did you do that? Yeah, I, I think I did well. Um, you know, I, I definitely feel like I left a little bit on the table, but that's just how I always am. I always feel like I can do better. Um, but you know, I'm gonna keep working and, and see where I where I go. This, it's obviously been a big dream for you to play in the NFL. I mean, to be out there and have the scouts looking at you and stuff. I mean, what, what was today like? Yeah, it was an unreal experience. It's, it's crazy, you know. Even I just finished the season. It didn't even feel that long ago, right? And, and the days felt very long leading up to this, but the whole process went by so fast. And, and for me, like just being able to, you know, run run in front of scouts is is an unreal feeling. I got to run a, run a couple routes at at San Jose State's pro day as well. So I got a bit of the jitters out. Kind of saw how the guys ran. Um, you know, the drills and things like that. So, uh, but it was great, it was awesome experience. Yeah, so uh, Nick Starkle, their quarterback, I'm sure you've heard of him, but he, uh, he's in my agency and their running back they have, um, he's kind of more of a downhill guy, so he needs a guy to run routes and a, and a couple of receivers couldn't make it. Um, so I went to high school like within 50 miles of campus, so they let me. And, and actually it helps, the head coach went to my high school, he's an alumni, so I've known him. So. So, hey, come, come run some routes, get in front of these scouts. So a lot of the, those guys have already met, and um, they were expecting me, and they kind of knew what to expect. You technically could have came back another year. So, yeah. so why, why did you decide the time's now to go yeah. do this? For me, you know, I just – it was more of a mental thing. I just felt like, you know, uh, I was ready for the league. I feel like I am ready for the league, I should say. And, uh, you know, I've been playing college ball for – it was my fifth year. Um, and, I, you know, I got to experience, you know, four years at Oregon, which is awesome. And then I came out here and it was, you know, everything I, I dreamed of because I've always been a, a Boise State fan and, and you know, Avalos bringing me out here and a couple guys behind the scenes from Oregon too, it just all felt right. So, you know, I, uh, for me, you know, I caught, you know, double amount of passes of my career at Oregon and that's kind of something I wanted to check. If, if it's a box, I wanted to check it off. So um, for me, I just felt like I was mentally ready. I got a lot of experience. I um, played with a lot of greats, played with Khalil, a bunch of guys, you know, Justin Herbert, Troy Dye, all those guys, and, you know, just practicing with every day, just kind of comparing myself to them. Um, I felt like I was ready. You said you wanted to prove your, your versatility there, show your versatility today. You kind of know at Oregon, you were, you were a little one-dimensional. Yeah. So, so the fact that how much your voice did help you put, help put you in a better position for something like that? Uh, yeah, honestly, a ton. Um, you know, I was able to block in the open field, if that makes sense, you know, outside of the 20-yard line and get some runs, you know, outside of the red zone. And for me, I caught a lot of long passes out of the backfield and, you know, I was able to showcase that. But, um, you know, I, I think I, I was able to do that and that's kind of a big step why um, I was able to take this next step to to, uh, the, to the league. You mentioned Khalil. What about his game best translates to the next level? Everything, <laughs> right? It's, it's a no-brainer. Um, I tell everybody he's the best receiver I've ever played with or against or whatever it is. He's just an unreal athlete. Um, a lot of guys, I guess just because it's the way his frame is built, a lot of guys thought he was going to be like a 4'6", 4'5 guy, but we all saw what he ran, and I always knew it, just the way he was running in practice. Um, catches everything, you know, and he's very consistent, and he's explosive, um, you know, to be able to do all that. And I just think he's going to do amazing in the league, and I'm, I'm super excited for him, but he's also physical as well. I feel like he, when he, you know, after he catches the ball, he kind of has a little running back to him, so. Um, you know, that's what I love about him, and he's going he's gonna to do great. I'm excited for him. Tate Talon kind of got thrust in there in the last minute. Yeah. Uh, kind of a ner nervous, obviously, for him. How do you think yeah. he did? I think he did great. I mean, he showcased his arm talent, you know, and he was, he was throwing those balls, and he, he looked amazing. You know, for us, we didn't really um, get to, you know, practice before, but that was okay. We had chemistry from the season and in practice and things like that um, back in, you know, last fall. But I think he did amazing, right? And he, I mean, obviously he's young, he has low tune-ups and things like that, but when it's his time, I, I think, you know, this whole place is gonna be crowded and rocking with scouts because that arm talent, you can't really, you can't really coach that arm strength.